AP CRIM, the AP Human Geography exam, for your response question 19, increase life expectancy. Remember that section two consists of free response questions. There are three questions that should be formatted as short essay answers, and you have 75 minutes to complete them, so allocate your time properly. The free response section is 50% of your exam score. You're required to define and explain and apply geographic concepts and also interpret geographic data. Okay? Identify seven reasons for increased life expectancy in developed countries. All right, so you can pause and take a moment to think what would seven um, reasons be for uh, a resultant outcome of increased life expectancy of a general population. I'll give you a moment to think. Well, the first reason would be in the area of healthcare. So, how would healthcare increase life expectancy? Well, for one, it would have to be improved, improve health care, specifically in the areas of medicine, facilities, research, and knowledge about various diseases. The personnel, like the doctors, the technologies, like screening tools, even um, therapeutic technology, and accessibility. Um, there are very few underserved areas as it relates to primary health care especially like in the United States, okay? A second area would be lifestyle. So how would lifestyle increase life expectancy? I'll give you a moment to think. Well, um, for one, people now have more knowledge of health risk. So they um, improve their diets, all right? Now we have like phones and PCs and laptops, so technology also increases life expectancy, giving us um, knowledge about health risk as well. People are queries and all these different diets like the paleo diet, alkaline diet, so nutrition is definitely improving, and gym membership, exercise. A lot of people are into athletics, they have their favorite sports teams, and they also participate in these various athletic activities, and the result is just improved health, thus improved lifestyle, okay? A third area would be food. Now, how would food increase um, the life expectancy of a population? I'll give you a moment to think. Well, if it's improved, there are a lot of organic brands, non-genetically modified brands, and if it's available. So now more than ever, there's like less food shortages. Food is more readily available to be consumed. All right, so the next area relates to conflicts. So what about conflicts would increase life expectancy rather than decrease it? Well, the only thing that I can think of is less conflict. Um, although you hear so many things in the news, overall, top crime has been reduced dramatically. And even though there are wars today, there's few, way less wars than there were compared, you know, to past years, maybe like almost a century ago. Okay. Now, the next factor that has um, increased life expectancy is work, but exactly how? I'll give you a moment to think. Well, improve work conditions, okay? So there's less physically demanding labor today because of the advent of various technologies and there's just better safety standards that are like mandated by law okay the next area that has increased life expectancy is public health 
but exactly how? I'll give you a moment to formulate your answer. Okay, can't wait. <laughs> Improve public health. Okay, so better sanitation, uh, you know, more regulations for the water supply, more regulations for housing and apartment buildings, and just an overall better standard of living for so much, so many people. Okay. Okay, so a sixth reason for increased life expectancy is um, elderly finances, okay? So think about how this could be. I'll give you a moment. All right, so improve financial security for the elderly um, in the form of pension, social security, and just better care facilities, okay? because you need money to survive. And there was a time when elderly people in the United States were living on cat food because they didn't have enough money, but we now have the provisions where elderly can have really ample finances, okay? All right, the last major reason for increased life expectancy has to do with safety standards. How is this? Well, there's improved safety standards. This is ubiquitous in so many industries and in work, you know, for sports, uh, transportation, building codes, you name it. They're like our law mandated safety standards 